Hey everybody, this is Wallace from uh, Team Honest, and this is James with uh, his Eradicator deck profile. Oh, that. Um, here we have the Eradicator profile. It's got a bit of support recently with Zillion and Lynchu and a few other ones. I find a great one. This is actually one of the first decks I really picked up for in Vanguard. So let's see how it's evolved. I'll start off with the Great Threes. Here we have four copies of the Senate. This is one of your main right targets you want to get. Um, good backup limit break if you can't stride or after ultimate stride. Uh, really good card. Back with grade 3, you've got 3 Sigma. Sigma is a really good card, really good on the rear guard. And it is also really good when combined with Zillion. And the fact you don't lose a drive check off the second restand. Off the restand of uh, Zillion. So that's 7 grade 3s. I play 1 10k vanilla. Just to really give a bit of support for the deck because it doesn't really survive against a big rush deck. So 110k, I probably up this more, but it's what I can find at the time. But to provide a bit of rust for the deck, four 11k attackers, it's really what I just use them for is 11k attackers. Uh, they have a second effect, which I don't really use, it just pumps up him up and your Vanguard up, it's really for a zillion. But good 11k attacker, hits numbers. I play four of this card. This is a promo card that came out. Uh, when it intercepts, you can kind of ask an eradicator and kill a unit which uh, is not been attacking or boosting. So it's good for taking out other columns. So it's really good. good. The only problem is it's an 8k, so that's the only flaw with it. Um, but if it's in intercepting, you get 5k shield in one side and you're possibly killing the other side. That's meaning you only have to deal with the Vanguard, possibly just perfect guarding it. So it minimizes what you can deal with. Plus good for dealing with Flogels as well. Flogels can be really pesky. Um, also to keep it a rush, I have three 12k taggers. Um, I would probably want to upgrade up this to four, but they're really hard to get because they're from the trial deck. They're 12k swingers, keep the rush on the opponent. But especially good on grade two turn, whenever your opponent's on 7k Vanguard, drops 10k shield. So that's all the grade twos. Uh, onto our grade ones, we have uh, this is Slasher Dragon. He helps resource management. He either counter charges or he soul charges, which is good for Zillion, and just keeps your counter charge live. Really good card. It tends to be one of the boosters for the game. Really good resource management. Onto perfect guards, I play four Eradicator perfect guards. The change I would probably make to this is I would change these perfect guards into Anastasia's being the, uh, the counter charging ones. Just because you tend to go through a lot of counter blasts in this deck, you need to keep uh, the counter shards going. But I like all Eradicator's names inside this deck just to keep the consistency. Yeah, so it depends on whether you want to take the risk on having to counter blast something that isn't Eradicator. If you're a counter blast or with the likes of Descendant, you need to discard the Eradicators for it. So you don't want to run that chance of not hitting the Eradicator yeah. name for it. Plus, with the cards that, like Lynchu and stuff like that, sometimes you need to eradicate a name. Um, so it just keeps consistency up. Yeah. Also, Descendant's uh, second skill needs to kind of last to eradicate it specifically. Yeah. So it just keep the eradicate a name. But what's what I'm considering at the moment is changing these, and that would be the only four cards in the deck non eradicators apart from the starter, which you'll see soon. So that's grade ones. Some more grade ones here. We've got. Uh, Stride Fodders, this is recent support that they got in GBD12. The kind of grade 3, um, and whenever they use for Stride, you can check the top 7 cards for an Eradicator grade 3. It helps keep the Stride going. The only problem I find with this is it's a Counter Blast cost. I wish this was a Soul Blast cost, yeah. but it just eats into your Counter Blast so much whenever you want to keep Striding. So that's my only fault with this here, but it's another eradicator name. It meant we weren't playing the the old ones, uh, the Lightning Kid Dragoon, I think it's called. Yeah. So really good card, but I just wish it wasn't kind of blast. More grade ones. I like to rush my opponent, so for to fill out the grade one slot, I have ten k taggers. Really good on grade two turn because you can just sw swing it into your vanguard and the opponent's vanguard. So for ten k next turn again the nine k ten k. You're still dealing damage. You're trying to rush them, put them in high damage early, so that way your zillion has more pressure late game. Yeah, it's really zillion is your main uh, go-to win condition because they have to guard it twice. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so that's all the grade ones. 
Now we go on to four heel triggers. These are the old school ones. I knew they were new ones we printed in the recent set, but this is what I got whenever I originally got to Radicators, so it's sentimental value for me. Yeah, and obviously you're hoping that when Narakami eventually get more support, that the, there's going to be another double rare heel trigger with the effect of the more recent ones. Yeah, the bind, the bind two to kind of charge the soul throughout. That would be beautiful this deck because you do G God to it, so you can make up some resources, and you don't legion with the deck, so you're not concerned about putting them back into the deck. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping that they are eradicated sub clans just to help with the name. I'm hoping they're not brawler. That's my one fear is that they're going to end up being brawler. But eradicators would be beautiful at first, and the eradicators do. They're really supported set. Yeah. Um, Kai used them. Noki used them in the old season. Yeah, yeah, Noki used them. Uh, other triggers, I play two draws. Uh, I've seen other people playing four, some people playing six draws. I like my crits. I like uh, putting pressure on that zillion turn that I can get a crit and end the game right there. So I only play two of them. It's sometimes useful for if I'm top, de if I'm top decking with, uh, say, the likes of Descendant, and I just need to call that rearguard. Getting the draw trigger can help to get the third card in hand for the descendant skill. Plus, it's good defensively if it hits a def if it hits the damage zone. So, really good card. Yeah. But I only play two. I've considered up in this, but it's really good. Um, so Radicators is a great deck. Um, I'm a bit late up loading this here. Um, we actually got a message from a fan that was looking for to load this. So thanks for them. Hopefully, this helps them in their deck building. Um, four more crits, these are into soul plus 3k's. Good for building up soul and good for putting up pressure on the opponent. So, all on good crits. We got four more crits. There's lots of crits. This I don't tend to use as an uh, effect, it's only really useful for whenever you use like the GB8, but even then it needs to be on the cock on the field whenever you use it. So, it's not too great a card, but it's a crit. It's cool. And then. Two more crits, Poloxes. These are very sentimental to me because they were in my original deck, so these are my originals. So I love them. And for starter, Sparky Dragoon. So also known as Sparky to me. Uh, grade 3 Searcher, it checked top 5 for a grade 3. Since you're only playing 7 grade 3s, it helps keep the consistency of the deck overall. So really good card, especially since you're playing 7. Yeah. I was going to ask you why. Uh, specifically were playing the grade 3 searcher over something say hard rod draco kid or uh lynch you. I, I can't yeah yeah lynch lynch you. the typical eradicator one yeah lynch is good for kill for dealing with pesky grade zeros such as um wingle brave hard rod as well typical things the reason i didn't go for hard rod for this uh, build is that um it's not really geared towards thunderstrike I uh, find hard, uh, that the card is really designed for Thunderstrike decks. This isn't Thunderstrike, this is Zillion. Yeah. So you're not really dependent upon V Buster, Voltage, V Max, those kind of ones. So that Hard Rod wasn't needed. So yeah. that's Sparky. Plus, he's so cool. Yeah, true. It was in my original deck as well. I also played Veyu Narakami, it was my first Vanguard deck oh, I ever had. So. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I, I played the alternate form of, uh, what was it, you uh, Indra? Indra, yeah. There's Veyu and Indra, and then there's a third one that came out as well, so... Yeah. Uh, so it's really good, and good for consistency. I love consistency. Sometimes you miss your grade 3 ride, you need a grade 3 for Rider Stride. So that's the main deck. Then, onto a G-Zone. Four Zillion. Great card, pressure card, you're going in for 26. And you're going to get in again for 26 second time at Twin Drive. Or if you have Zillion, or if you have Sigma, it's a, a second triple drive. Good for putting pressure on the opponent. Really good whenever they're five damage. That's the best time to use this card. Um, the thing you have to remember with this is it's an act skill. I've seen so many people go into the battle phase, swing with the Zillion, and it gets perfect guarded, and they cannot use a skill. Yeah. It's an act skill that yeah. uh, it goes into the battle phase. So just be careful with that. Anybody playing it, remember it's an act skill. <laughs> what I tend to do is if I'm striding into it, I'll stride into it. If I'm on Sigma, I'll pay the Candle Blast cost then. And whilst I've got my G deck in my hand, I'll activate the Sigma skill. Yeah. Just to have it primed. 
So it's a really good card. But four of them because you want to run them. You want to see them, so you want to run two copies of basically it. Uh, other stride, this tends to be my first stride. It's good for dealing with boards, lynch you. Um, kind of last one, put it in eradicate into soul, builds up the soul for zillion. Um, deals for each face of G unit, kills two of your opponents. And then if your opponent has a blank field, draw a card. So good for wiping out boards. Yeah, a, uh, nice. In the game where maintaining field advantage is a big thing, this deals with them. Yeah. I would probably play more draw triggers. You can put the draw triggers into soul and pay for the cost of it, means you're not going big neg on it. So a really good card. Yeah. Um, next, once I'm playing Conquest Dragon, the original Naokami stride, back in the days whenever yeah. it was back the show was released. Yeah, back in those days. I like it because the deck kind of blasts a lot, so you might not have the kind of blast for these two, but Conquest can also deal with power lines, so if they don't have a front row because you've lynched them the last turn, then this can go 10k to front row pressure. Yeah. Especially when you combine that with the Lexus Sigma, it becomes 21k, 21k. Yeah. Even without triggers. So you're pressuring your opponent with Conquest. Plus it's a good card, so right, it's right. free effect, so you just have to flip another one over. The next card I'm playing here, the GB8. Um, it just wipes the board, destroys their drop zone, completely obliterates it. Um, I don't know what other terms you want to say for it, but it just destroys it. Gives you maximum power. Yeah. Uh, it's just a great feeling whenever you drop this in the opponent and you just see the entire drop zone go into the bind pile. Yeah. Destroyed. And then, then you face columns of 100, uh, 100k each. Yeah, this is where if you'd go for him and then if you have a Sigma in your hand. Yeah, then went for a bad time because this gains huge power and... Yeah. If you're pulling some five, they're probably dying. <laughs> And the last stride that I have in G Zone, Drachma. Zeroth Dragon of Inferno Drachma. I rarely go into it, but whenever you do, it can close out a game. I love it. Drachma just does what it needs to do and just kills your opponent. Yeah. Um, you don't always need this if you can't afford it. There are other strides you can go into for it. You can also up your G your G God count so you can play five G Gods, so you can try and turbo to G V eight. I just like having the Zeos Dragon in here just yeah. to have that possible kill factor. Yeah, if I remember rightly, you used to have a VMAX in your deck and I think you took it out whenever you got Drachma. Uh, what I used to play was, I played the GB8, so I GB8 my opponent, and then next turn I would either have VMAX or Voltage yeah. as a bag oh, yeah, of strikes. Yeah, that's right, you ran Voltage as well. So either if I had Counter Blast, I could VMAX them, and the board's right, so just going to that plus. Yeah. Voltage was a good first stride to go into if you couldn't go into anything yeah. else. Yeah, it was. Or big power lines with Voltage. Yeah. Because you're nuking the drop, putting 20 cards into it, yeah. 20 times 3k. Yeah, that's just a massive front row. Combine that again with Sigma. Yeah. That just puts pressure on the opponent. But if I got Drachma, it was what do I need to play in this deck? And that's why I went for it. And just to round up, we got the G Guards. This is going to be changing soon. I'm not 100% on the G-Guards, but I'm testing a few things at the moment. First one is Brahma. Um, easy way to get 10k shield. Yeah. Um, I see other people play um, Bullock Dragon. I don't like Bullock Dragon because it requires Thunder Strike, uh, as I said before. Easy way to get 10k shield. Um, the only problem is if you're playing the mirror match and they've destroyed your drop zone, you can't use it. Yeah. Cheap 10k guard. You don't have to discard anything for it. Um, onto the discards cards, I've got one of this in Ractum. Uh, good discard and draw, just helps you thin through the deck, gets cards out of your hand which you don't really need, and get fresh cards. Um, if you don't have any other thing else that you got into, pretty good. Calburn, um, some people at the locals, they play Luard, they play decks that have huge, ass, huge hands. Yeah, so cool. it's just to defend yourself against uh, those decks, uh, OTT, Blasters, Luard, just to protect your life really. Yeah. Um, gains 5k, directs back for each, two cards in hand, really good. Just to round, round it off, P Dragon, really good, really cheap card to use effect. So I would probably up this for another one, but I don't want to take a Conquest at the moment, so 
I need to test a few things, but overall, that's my Dragonic Descent deck profile. Um, if you have any comments, anything you'd like to share about how you play your build, or if you think I need to make any changes, leave them in the comment section below. Um, that's my deck profile. Thank you very much. Um, take it away.